Hey, down here. Okay, well, I didn't think it was going to work. A while ago, this phone wouldn't work. Um, the camera wouldn't. So, um, just, no, let me set it down. It's going to just, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to show something here. I can. A little bit crooked, but I got something all over my one of my phones. Something nasty looking. I don't know what that is. Brown. I wasn't messing with nothing brown up here that I knew, remember. Okay, so. Oh, you know what that is? I was eating a chocolate chip cookie. But how did that get all the way up there? I did have it sitting right below that. Right there where that paper is, really. Okay, so, uh, everything's kind of in my way. This is the instructions for the relays. And, uh, I don't have it set up to where I can actually show and tell very well. You know what? I might be able to do it a little different. Let's see. Uh, let's try it. Set here. <sighs> Nothing's ever quite right. Sorry. The computer's not on, so I don't guess it'll be the end of the world if I turn this this way. It's going to be a little crooked, but I think I can see it. Hold this up. Toolbox sideways. I usually don't do that because I end up hitting my knee on that edge of the desk and it really, really hurts. Uh, oh, it's not plugged in. I'm right here where I can plug it in. I need to have it plugged in. This one really runs down fast. Okay, so yeah, now I've got a cord in the way. Because a minute ago I moved the cord so that it would reach the other one I was using and then I kept using it on its battery and it finally went down and that's what the last video I made went it just stopped. Uh, I heard it beep though it beeps and tells you but it, I thought it beeped to warn you that the battery is getting low. It's beeping to tell you that it is shutting down. didn't know that. So there's a whole, these, these are kind of telling you how to do door locks with these things to make them work. And uh, what else can you do with them? Is there other things? Amp system. This is all kind of an all-purpose relay, and it's got some really good instructions. That's telling you how to do remote power switch for an amp. Amp audio amplifier. And uh, basic floodlight. Hold it there for a minute. I mean, if you wanted to freeze it and look that over, you might be able to. I don't know if it'd be too blurry. Anyway. Uh, they're really kind of small though, hard for me to read in here in the garage. I don't, no matter how much light I turn on, it's not really enough. But I have three of them, I've had them for quite a few years. I bought them to use in the van, really. I was gonna, well, actually, maybe I was gonna wire amps with it because I had big plans to put big speakers in there. But this is pretty well made, actually, looks better made than I got them at Parts Express if you've ever heard of Parts Express. But you can do a lot of different things with them, and that's why I'm pretty sure they would work on my blazer horn if I could figure out how to wire it. And uh, let's see, can I make that readable in the... I can't tell if it's readable in the video or not. I can just read it. So a lot of times, if it can be, I can read it. Then, the, well, of course, it's different distances. But oh yeah, the one I was looking at the other day for from a brother's truck and air conditioning one. It uh, had the same number, some of the same numbers, 87, 88. Okay, so uh, it's a Y418A-1C-12DSM is what it is. It's, uh, it'll do 40 amps. Uh, wait. Oh, it says NO dot dot 40 
amp slash INC dot dot 30 amp 12 volt DC okay and uh, so the numbers I don't know there's some sort of not, well I guess it would work perfectly on that paper it would tell you the pin numbers to use you know that's that's a pin out that's what it is okay just like electronics I've been reading a lot and videos and reading a lot about electronics for the last 10 years for you know electronics electronics not car electronics this is well it's not really electronics this is more I guess this is analog electrical or analog electronics I guess definitely no expert complete novice anyway that's why I have so much trouble and some of the things I used to really know how to do pretty well I've kind of forgotten on the cars because I haven't done a lot of car work in the last 17 years so just to try to keep the old blazer running uh, and I was, you know, I, my fan was my project. I guess it still is my project. It is still my project that I ha haven't got to finish yet. It runs. It ran when I got it. Anyway, uh, it, this one, okay, a, I think it almost looks like it has two contacts in it. No, no, no. Okay, 30 is the actual switch. And it looks like it could contact, maybe even contact 87A or 87, either one. Uh, I don't know what the signal means, but I, I think 85 and 86, that's the other side of the switch. I know that much. I guess it, I think I remember from reading those instructions years ago that you can actually run it as a ground switch or a power switch or I think a combination of thereof. But I believe it can switch go either way but it may need power to work that's what I would need to know. I don't know that they're labeled. And my light on my... dang I hate that it works so good. My light on my... oh I thought it was beeping it was making a noise scratching on the monitor I've got a monitor back there it actually makes a pretty good background for that but, um, yeah I don't see that there's no numbering on there I guess you're supposed to one two three one two oh doesn't make sense they never do the drawings never do cor correspond with the uh, Um, they never do correspond with the, um, you know, the pins. A lot of times there'll be a pin out on something. It just says numbers, okay, but one, two, three, one, two. There's one, two, three is in the center, and then one, two. So I guess, and see they go different ways and all that. There's no, wait, is that numbers? Okay, we're good. 30. There we go. If my light on this thing would work, I'd be able to see it. 30 is this one down here. Okay, 87. And I'm going to say that one's 87A because I see some little something after it. 88 or something. Got lights on everywhere in here, still can't see. Oh, 86, 85. Okay. 86, 85, 30, 87, 87A. There we go. Now that's the way to make a part. Okay. So. I can't remember uh, if you can see that or not, but that little cross right there. I don't know if that means that's, like I said, I think you can go either way. You can, be, depending on how you want to wire it, you know. Like the, the horn has a green one, a black one, which I believe is the ground. I think it's switching on the ground side of it is what I think. And the uh, power that goes to it, I think it's just to energize it. So that it will stay open until you close the switch up in the up in the steering column. That's what I think. 
And then when you close that switch, that black wire I think goes up to the steering column because the big green one goes under the hood. I saw that. So I think when you close that, when you ground that switch up there in the steering column, that completes the circuit inside of the um, relay. And and then the electromagnet closes the switch, which makes a horn, closes that circuit and makes a horn on. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So, if I could figure out how to work now, this, I'm just wondering. I really kind of need to get in out of the heat and rest a little bit. So I'm wondering if I can I can figure out how to use this. I'm almost certain it would work. Now whether or not I can figure it out, I don't know. With all the extra ways you can do it, could try out, do some trial and error, I suppose. But door locks, door locks. Horn alert with buzzer. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go through. That might be left with a buzzer. Uh, <coughs> alarm trigger, engine the engine disable systems, really very versatile. Ignition kill circuit. It's all mostly built around uh, the idea of you know people are using them for parking lot flasher circuit. It's just pretty well whatever you need it for. Uh, flash moniker. That's why I got them because they were so versatile. I, like I said earlier, I had also thought about. That's why I got three of them. I thought I might use them on amplifiers, but I might use them on uh, my amplifiers have the built-in remote start circuit, so the ones I have had don't need that. I forget why I thought I might do that, but um, use these in. But also, uh, these little blink. Um, but also, the main thing I remember is I was wanting to put a computer in the back with a cam webcam, uh, USB webcam on it, you know, and use it as a backup camera. And use it as a, in the van, a computer in the van, you know, that you could use any time. Because I was going to put batteries in it and stuff. Negative switching door locks. Po I see swa positive switching door locks. Negative switching door locks. That's the kind of thing I was talking about. I'll hold it a little still up for a minute there. That way if you really wanted to see that maybe you could freeze it. And the flashing stuff. Cheap but dependable car alarm. Actually see and I do have an alarm, a siren alarm and I could wire these up to it if I wanted to. Make it work. Um, you use the, the, the lower light switches. Of course, if they work, if they work good, mine, mine on the driver's side isn't working, which has been good today, so I've been running the battery down with the door open. Okay, left, right, flasher lights, fake alarm, flashing LED. Well, that'd be a waste of effort, wouldn't it? Make a real one. Adding pager to an existing alarm. Hmm. Active antenna driver. Can't hold still. The fan's blowing it around. Horn alert for cell phones, huh? Let's get the phone. Is that old or what? That is one of the older, early 80s, late 70s phones, car phones. Cellular phones. Horn alert. That's a wild. Oh, so it would honk when you have a call. That's cool. Ignition bypass to eliminate noise. Well, that's all about this phone thing. Their amp system. Remote power switch. Fog light switch. Uh, reverse polarity. Reversing polarity door locks. Won't get into all those. Door locks negative trigger. So see, you can use it a lot of different ways. Okay, now, horn alert with buzzer. Horn alert. That's the closest thing to what I'm trying to do, I think. It shows, it. no, that's still part of the phone. That's, okay. When horn alert is activated, amp will shut off each pulse to, at the same time inside buzzer will turn on. Oh, that's not going to help me at all. Four antenna, horn alert, ground pulse. That would not tell me any. There's no so there's no preset 
wiring diagrams in there that will tell me what how to do what I want to do. So I'm thinking that I don't know if that makes it but I can see it like that, but I'm way behind the camera, so I don't know if that actually works or not. What I'm thinking is I can... I might be able to put power on number 30, and green on 86, and black on 85. That's what I'm thinking. Because that's what it reminds me... That just makes... Or it could be just the opposite. But see, I want... Unless that 86 to 85 is always connected, I could figure that out with my uh, tester, maybe. <clears throat> so, kept my instructions away. Kept those for years and took good care of them, so let's don't lose them. <clears throat> multimeter here and, and I guess I most of my stuff I want to leave where they're at now. I think I can use the continuity tester to figure some of this circuit out. Let's see. Okay. Okay now it's gonna beat when it gets a Hmm, that way, huh? Hmm. I hope it didn't, the stupid phone didn't change the way it shows things, you know? But, uh, if I can see which one's which, Okay, 30's on the bottom. Let's see. 85 to 86. See if they're always connected or not. That line is just perfect. Man. No, I can't remember it. I just saw it a minute ago, but I can't remember it. Okay, 85, 86. That's across these two. Now, if they're connected all the time, we'll know that. Okay, they're not. But if I take a jumper wire, oh, gotta go get it. I'll just get all these little wires that I've got floating around here. I don't have any power to. Actually, I have a tool battery sitting right here that I could power it up with. But first, let's just see. If, let me see, jumping 30 to one of these caused me to get a signal over there. I have it quite close enough. Let's test it. Yeah, getting a beep. Okay, that didn't do it. Okay, let's look at that diagram right here and rethink. Well, it wouldn't because it's not powered up. So if it does what I think it does, I need to get power to 30. And then maybe that would... It may take four... I had oh by the way I had all I never could get that uh, switch in the in the horn column there couldn't get that plate on there I, I finally had to back it off and leave it loose so it wasn't constantly making a connection because it wasn't slipping up over those little rubber deals like plastic plastic insulators like it was supposed to yeah 86 87 and okay oh I can see the picture better now. 87, 87A. I think it will switch to either 87 or 87A. 
Oh, and if it's on 87A, then that connects with 85 and 86. Wait, no. Oh. I just got to test them out and see, but I think I need, I just don't, I think 30 is the one I need power on, maybe. And then, I think the switch is capable of going either way, or maybe it only just goes from 87A to 87, but that kind of makes no sense to me. I think I understand jumping in. I have to kind of see it in action to understand it. Like, you flip a light switch and it goes on, so... One way is connected and the other way is not. Okay. Okay, uh let's get my tool battery. I figured out what was hot and what was cold the other day, but I don't remember now. Let's see. It actually has 10 volts in it now. It's an 18 volt battery and it's almost dead. That was the right way. Yeah, 10.5 volts in it. It's been on the charger all night. Of course, it quit blinking a long, long time ago. It quit charging. But you leave it on the table overnight, it'll be, it would, or a day or two, it'll be down to 8.5 volts. Which one do I want to use for my power? I think this one with the clip. I had another one with two clips, I thought. Actually, this one here would be better. I want something. One of these clips has an insulator, and the other one doesn't. So, um, is that 30 like I thought? Yeah, that's 30. Now let's test voltage. Well, I think you have to cross. Let's use my, what's my old test light? I was thinking of using it. It'll make a circuit without blowing anything out. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So, I thought that that would cause a circuit. It's way up out of the picture now, isn't it? I'm just going to clip it on one of these for now, and then see. That didn't do it. That didn't do it. That didn't do it. Okay. I guess I should turn it over and look at that diagram again. But I'm just going to try these that I have here available to me right now. That didn't do a thing. Yeah, that could make the light come on. That was what I was thinking. Okay, so... I thought putting power... Maybe putting power on 87. I was going to say 30 is the one to put power on. But that didn't do anything. Like I said, I do know there's different ways you can do it. Power on here. Oh, I don't have the ground hooked up. We won't do nothing without a ground. I really thought I had another. I really need another. I need one with a clip on both ends. So, I might, might have had it. Might have been throwing them all around and. One of them disappeared. Let's see. Oh, well, that's, those got holes in them. Okay. Okay, so let's hook that power back up to 30. Yeah. Okay, so what I was thinking... Yeah, if you wanted to switch, besides all the other fancy bells and whistles, I would say perhaps I could put power on 30 and ground on 87 with my battery. What good would that do me? Look at this picture. I 
Okay, that dotted line, that's... And I don't know if the picture represents inactivation or inactive mode either. But it seems that the picture shows you're getting a connection to... It looks to me like you're having a connection to 87A, but that's not connected to anything else. not connected to anything at this position and turn it this way if it can be read at all uh, in that position 87 is not connected to anything 30 is where I think power should go in my case anyway and uh, and it looks like okay so with it connected to 87A as it looks like it is now then the dotted line Like that makes it also connect to because of the dotted line to 85 and 86. It's like it has three simultaneous connections. I don't understand this diagram, do I? I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but uh, where would I, so where would I want my ground? I started to say 30 and every 7, but I don't think that would help me. That wouldn't help at all, I don't think. Unless that would keep it open. Until, you know, you got a ground on the other side. I guess I really don't understand relays much at all. Never messed with them. Uh... Power on 30, and then or what? What if ground is on 87? I would just short it out. Okay. Then maybe you're to energize it. And Matt would want power on 30 and, or power on 86. And 85 and 86 to me seem to be kind of connected. Maybe that's, so maybe power on 30 and ground on 86 or the other way around. And then the others could be part of the switch. Eh. I mean, well with the test line I don't have to worry about, you know, getting a dead shore. So I can try it. Dave, the electronics go. Tell me how to do this. I don't, know. I don't understand the simplest thing in the world. I don't think they're simple. They're complicated. I was trying to learn how to actually, you know, it's kind of well, it's not easy. But kind of design. I've been trying to learn how to design a simple circuit, you know, electronic circuit. But the thing is, you can just go by like TI's uh, design, <laughs> pre-designed things and stuff. So, uh, I think I'll turn it around that way. Okay, now. But I do have to turn it in some way so I can read the numbers. So I guess it needs to go that way. When you flip it over, it should just do the drawing from pin to pin. get a dead short that way. Let's try it with the test light first. I already tried everything I could think of and it wouldn't do anything. But Oh, I didn't try it to the battery. 
Yeah, there we go. 30 and 86. Okay. Light doesn't come on and nothing seems, no clicking. But what I should be able to do is, yeah, my test light will come on if I go across that battery, so it'll do that. So let's do this then. If that was to energize it, then, oh look, it works. That center one energy makes a connection. Okay. Okay, so what does that mean to me? It means I should turn my voltmeter off and put one of my batteries down. The center one. See if I can understand that. The center one, I have to see what the number is on it. Let's take it off so I can read it. It's always upside down. No. That's 80. That's 97A. So, they may intend you to use that 97A as the power then. I just kind of had a memory that I... Well, no, I don't have a memory. Who are you kidding? But what I was thinking here is make it the power and see if you get more options out of your switch. Actually, if you were to... Okay, that makes that come on. Okay. Nothing else comes on. <coughs> now, if I were to put this here, and take it, I'll use a black one just to make me feel better. So I have ground going to that one. So. Makes it come on. Okay. That was. Oh, that made it work. It jumped off, but it made it work. That made the switch work. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, though. See. Yeah, so if I ground this one over here on the other side, I can't get it to set there very well. I don't want it to short out on my power. Let's see, Let's see if my magnifying glass will hold it. It vibrates when it goes when it goes off. Okay, that one doesn't do it. Okay, that's what's well, making it jump though. It's not just staying there. Well, it sounds anyway. So this one, I wonder if it'll do the same thing. I may have forgot what we want. It doesn't do it. And then this one, I don't think would do that either. But let's see. Oh, still. Well, at least I'm learning something here for a few minutes. I mean, I had to go through all this again if I really tried to wire it up. Okay, that, there's only one way that it does that. If I can keep it together long enough to do a test. Maybe if I put my hand, oops, no. Put some weight on it, then I'll just turn it over. I know I need clips, not... little pointy things that move around but uh, just the stiffness of this wire is enough to cause it to all get out of whack pretty stiff wire so I guess it would, it would probably depends on like if I put it back on 30 like I originally saw which one's 30 I think it behaves differently 
This one. I can put it on 30. So I can get you to stay more in the center. And uh, maybe that'll help hold it still. Let's see now, which one did I think? Actually, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. One of these will make it come on, period. That one. Okay. So, there's only one, I think, that makes any actual differences to far as... I don't remember anymore which one it was. Let's see. Uh, Shift that center one. There we go. But it's it's vibrating, so I think maybe that would be more like a flasher mode. It vibrates so much it won't stay together when I do it. Somebody buy this guy some clips. Yes, it's just you yeah. can tell it's closing and opening, closing and opening fast. Or makes it into a buzzer. Okay, so yeah, I don't really uh, understand what I just did. Sort of figured out what connects to what, and if I could remember it, and I won't remember it. I know it doesn't help to say, yes I will, yes I will. You, I think I can might help a little bit, but really, if you can, you can, you can't, you can't. You just gotta learn to work around it. So what I have to do is, uh, my memory the way it is, I would just have to test it as I hooked it up. But I, I could probably make it work. Problem is, I mean, okay, so I don't know what's really wrong with my horn, and uh, that's my connectors for my. Where is it? That's how I connected him up, and uh, that actually is the test light. So red doesn't mean anything. That was the power, and that was a negative. And of course, I found that out with the multimeter, but. Uh, just put this over here on the charger. So, I uh, would not, I mean, I could experiment around and if, you know, wired a hundred different ways, which would be really sucky with short, I was going to use short wires to go up to the, uh, you know, female on this end, male on the other end to go into the plug. With the three, there's only three connectors on that plug. And I do not believe you could just find a way to plug that in. My, you're really lucky. I don't think so, because it has these big ears that, that squeeze that other one. I mean, just find the right one would be the thing to do. But what I haven't narrowed down is, is it really bad? But see, I was thinking, well, I could put one I know is good in there. A known good part. That is one of the easiest ways to figure things out. A known good part. But it needs to be the... I mean, a, uh, uh, like a customizable one like this is com to me to me is complicated. If you're a good, if you're knowledgeable, really knowledgeable with electronics, it would probably be a really simple thing to do. Uh, well, I mess with it more, I realize I don't know. But uh, so it is a known good part, but I don't really know how to wire it up and to be confident that you know, well, that should work. So. And I know I have a problem with my, I mean, maybe say, if you watch these videos, man, you sent us for the last hour. Uh, <laughs> even if you skip through them, I know you're not going to, nobody's going to watch, 
long as they're turning out to be. But, uh, you may have said, well, look how your switch is acting crazy. When you have to hammer, if you hammer on it, sometimes it works, you know. So maybe your switch up in your stern column is bad. Yeah, I think that makes good sense. So, uh, the other thing that really occurred to me again, you know, something I knew for all my life until lately, <laughs> until today. But, uh, you know, having to bang on that switch and then having it work, well, I mean, that didn't jar the re relay or it didn't jar the horn. I wasn't shaking the whole truck. I couldn't do that. So, uh, the only thing that's getting shaken and moved is that switch. So, maybe there really is something bad down in there. But the fact that every time you touch that, you depress that switch and touch it to the you know, where it's supposed to ground out to. It, it makes a connection. Actually, it's not a ground ground out. It's not grounding out. I mean, if it is, that's what's wrong with it. <laughs> but uh, it's a hot switch. It's not a negative switch. It's a hot switch. Otherwise, you couldn't get a spark and you couldn't get shot from it. It's a 12-volt switch. And it's switching on the power side. So, that's what made me think, okay, that's good. Unless it's a dual ground and power switch down and down in the bottom of it somewhere, you know. It's simultaneously switching both at the same time, but why in the world would it do that? I don't have I don't remember, you know, what all the details I have pretty good. You know, I've had those things apart and fixed them up a lot of times. I've fixed them and made them work again. I've had to buy new ones. Usually it's always your blinker. It's really uh, when that plastic gets old, it's all made of plastic down in there. And it's, it's all together in one piece, and, and that switch has got a big long spring on it. And it goes down through the blinker uh, switch that uh, manually turns the blinkers on and off. And there's an electrical you know, switch in there, but I mean, it hits. It's a cam, a plastic cam, that uh, when you turn the wheel, it hits that switch and turns the blinkers off. So if you turn it so far one, either way, it'll turn the blinkers off. It'll let you go, like if you turn the bright blinker on, you turn it so far, and when you come back, well, actually, when you turn it so far, it'll turn it off. And then if and if it breaks, this little finger in there, then it quits switching. So when you turn your blinkers on, they'll just stay on. And they used to would not let you inspect your truck here in Texas if it did that. I've had to fix them on many times. And I've had the horn give me trouble before, and usually I'd just, you know, I'd pull the steering wheel and everything else and then find out, well, it didn't need pulling. It was just... Uh, the contacts were dirty up in the top, is all the heck it ever was. I kind of remember that. But the, I don't remember. I did see a video that I didn't watch yet. About, it was telling you how to install one of those. I don't know how to do that, but I saved its location. I put it in my watch later. I may watch it. It was like somebody who sells it at parts. You know. Sometimes they're pretty good, and sometimes they're just, you know, they're not going to tell you how to diagnose it. It's going to tell you how to put it in. and. Uh, because they want you to buy the parts. But some of them are really good, even the people that sell the parts about telling you how to diagnose so you get the right part. But they sell a lot of different parts, so you know they figure if they help you do it right, diagnose it right, you'll buy the right part, and then you'll come back, and that makes good sense. With my washing dryer, I found some companies that are like that. And they things that, I couldn't figure out how get the drum out of the dryer, and it's really simple when you know how. <coughs> interesting and helpful and it let me rest a little bit it was 90 degrees when I before I started this video I look and see what the temperature was it was 90 degrees that's why I'm so hot you know, right, I was right there in the sun and yeah I think there's a little bit more shade in that spot now the sun's moved a little more it's hotter in the afternoon but actually that spot where the truck is sitting is, it really doesn't get shady until about 2 in the afternoon on so uh even later. What time is it now? I'm looking at this other phone. 2.14. And I will. Okay, so. That one phone that ran all the way down, because I kept using it on the battery only, I didn't want to drag another cord. I could have dragged my cord in there and hooked it up that way, but. I was carrying it around so much, I just didn't want to do it. I mean, that's okay, I have three of them, but 
But this one keeps giving trouble. Yeah. Just trying to use it and uh, giving trouble. Let's see. So I think I'll stop this video. I may have made that. This one, the phone, the battery will run down even when it's plugged in. But that's the other one. That does, I used to use handheld, and that's the other tripod that's taller. And they have their pluses and minuses. Each that one is really, you have to loosen this and tighten it, and then it gets hard to turn that. And yeah, I have it on. A, that's a cassette case and rubber bands. See, that's another reason why sometimes I have a lot. It really works remarkably well. This one's a little metal tripod that we can't show it right now, and it's kind of good and kind of bad too for other its own reasons. Actually, I'm using a giant paper clip to hold this phone on here and rubber bands. Works pretty good. Not a regular paper clip, those uh, big fat ones. I don't, can't show it right now. But anyway, oh, you can almost see it in the reflection of that monitor, but I'm holding it. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off and I may go. I'll, I'll go get in the truck and I'll show the continue. Uh, I'll go ahead and go back to trying to get that switch back in the right. It was in the right, you know, in the, in the steering column there, in the steering wheel. And, uh, now I'm really having trouble with getting that little, the little metal, thin metal plate uh, to not get trapped under the uh, insulators. If I leave the screws loose, then it works, and then whenever I tighten it down, it holds it. It's actually holding it on, and if the horn was working, it would be talking constantly. That was one way you could tell when you got it right. Used to, but uh, yeah. And if it's bad relay, then I can just get one, you know. And not, I mean, unless I get a. a, a Get, uh, get rid of my brain fart and think straight and I could use one of those others there anyway okay it's done I'll come back in a little bit when I get set back up again bye